Are you having fingerprint reader or scanner not working issue on Windows 10 operating system? Well, some Windows users complaining that the fingerprint reader or scanner not working after updating Windows 10 operating system from the brand that you are using. It could be Lenovo, Dell, Asus, HP, Acer, and more. It is showing we couldn't find a fingerprint scanner capable with Windows Hello fingerprint or your fingerprint couldn't recognize. If you're getting the same error like this, then let's fix the problem. So before going through any of this process, make sure that you are using your right fingerprint and also clean the fingerprint scanner and your finger and try once. If it is not working, then follow the way and fix the problem. Well, so the first way to solve your problem is restraining your credential manager. So to do that, just go ahead and open your search bar and type services. So here as you can see the services application so i'm just gonna go ahead and click over here and once the services options is open what you gotta do just click on this name option and type c in order to find out the credential manager go ahead and find out the credential manager so here's the credential manager so i'm just gonna go ahead and double click over here in order to open this one and you'll get to see the window like this and over here here as you can see the services status is running so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just click on stop and then just click on start again to restart this process and just make sure to select it to the automatic and after that just go ahead and click on apply and okay now this time just close the window and take your issue that your fingerprint is working or not if it is not working then go ahead and follow the second way so I'm gonna show you the second way so in order to do that just go ahead and open your start menu and then click on settings and once you open the settings you just go ahead and click on accounts option and from this action menu just go ahead and click on sign in option and here under the sign in option you'll get to see the windows hello fingerprint option so just go ahead and click over here and just simply just go ahead and remove your current fingerprint just click over here and see it has been removed and set your fingerprint again in order to set this up just go ahead and click on get started and then just go ahead and click on ok and just scan your finger and it's done after that just go ahead and click on next and try another angle and it's all set after this just go ahead and close the window and here as you can see the new fingerprint has been set up just go ahead and close the window and check your fingerprint is working or not if it's working then great but if it is still not working then let's move to the third process so to fix this problem just go ahead and open your search bar again and type device manager so here as you can see the best mask the device manager from the control panel so i'm just gonna go ahead and click over here in order to open the device manager so here as you can see the device manager option so from here just go ahead and find out the biometrical devices option so here as you can see the biometric devices option but in any case if you don't have this option it could be the problem to get this error we couldn't find a fingerprint scanner capable with windows hello fingerprint if you don't find this option then you need to install the driver manually so to do that just go ahead and op open up a browser from your choice and you can download it from the manufacturer website so for example i'm using the lenovo laptop so i'm gonna go ahead and type support.lenovo.com after that just go ahead and press enter and if you're using other devices like HP, Dell, Asus, you just go ahead and type the same name and open the official website, for example, support.asp.com or even if you're using the Dell, then just go ahead and search support.dell.com and get the support official page from here. Find out your model, that which model you are using right now. Here, as you can see, the two options, view PC support and another is detect product. So I'm going to click on detect product. So it's going to detect my product, what kind of brand that I'm using right now. So here, as you can see, I'm using the X1 Carbon 5th generation. So from here, just scroll down and find out this option, drivers and software. So I'm just going to click over here. And here, you'll get to see the three options, the manual update, automatic update, 
and over recovery media so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on manual update option and under the manual update option you'll get to see the few available drivers here as you can see the option the fingerprint reader so I'm just gonna go ahead and click over here and after that you get to see the option is the updated or the latest fingerprint scanner is available if you want to see more about this you can click on this see files option and you will get to see the version number over here and also the release date so what you gotta do you gotta find out the latest version from here and just go ahead and just simply click over here to download this driver and you just install the driver manually so after installing the driver from your computer just close the window and then get back to the device manager again and you'll get to see the option is available over here and you can check your issue if it is fixed or not but if you ha already have this option but you are getting the same error then all you gotta do you gotta expand this option by clicking on this arrow button over here and you'll get to see the available driver so first of all you need to update the driver so in order to do that just go ahead and select the driver and right click over here and then just go ahead and select update driver and after that the another window will pop up like this it is asking that how do you want to search for drivers I'm gonna go ahead and select the search automatic for the drivers make sure that you have the internet connection on your laptop so it will start detecting the best driver for you so for me it says the best driver for your device are already installed so that means I don't have this problem right now if you have any update available over here just go ahead and follow the instruction and update the driver after that just go ahead and close the window and restart your computer and see it is fix your problem or not if it will fix your problem then it is really great but if it is not then go ahead and follow the next way so to do that all you gotta do is just come back to this device manager again and then expand this biometric devices option and just select the available driver over here and then right click over here and go all the way to the properties the driver properties will come up like this and under this tab just go ahead and click on this driver tab over here and you'll get to see the driver information is available so you'll get to see the driver version and also you'll get to see the driver details and you can update the driver from here as well so the next process that I'm gonna talk about is the rollback your driver so for me it's not available but if you have this option available roll back the driver you just simply just go ahead and click over here and get back to the previous driver and after that just restart your computer and then see your problem is fixed or not if it is still not working after rollbacking your driver then you need to follow the last and final way to fix your problem so to do that you need to come back to the same page over again and after that just you need to uninstall the current driver from your computer so after coming over here just go ahead and click on this uninstall device option and then just go ahead and click on this uninstall option and your driver will be uninstalled from here and after that just go ahead and restart your computer after restarting your computer the driver will be automatically installed on your computer and your problem will be solved hope one of this method will fix the fingerprint scanner or reader not working issue on Windows 10 operating system. Hope this video was helpful. If it is, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video and thank you very much for watching.